Mr. Beast has gone to sea for seven days. Seven days stranded at sea with a bunch of people. And, uh, I mean, let's just see what happens, I guess. I'm not gonna lie to you lot, we did know this was happening because Laserbeam did tell us. He was like, oh, I'm gonna go film this video, blah, 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 blah. He, he did, he, he gave us a hint. He was like, oh, I might be going out to sea for some bit, blah, 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 blah. So, I'm excited to see this video. It's like real life raft. We are now stranded on a raft in the middle of the ocean. And there goes our boat. We are now stranded for seven days. How much longer? Seven days. Frick. This raft is literally Dang. countless miles from the nearest civilization. And whether we like it or not, my four friends and I are stuck on this raft. And it's not going to be easy. This is brutal. Yeah, this We're looks like... Now. This challenge this went looks from like hell. to a literal nightmare very fast. Bro, look how far away the boat is. I can't even see it anymore. I hate the sea. Uh-huh. We're going to get sunburned if we don't get shade. And I had survival specialists equip this raft with tons of wood, rope, and everything else we would need okay. to build ourselves a shelter. Boys, we need to get started. We are running out of light. I got this side. Oh, my finger. Now we... You know what? What's your price to do this? There is definitely a number that would make me do this. But the thing that would make me do this more is having people on board that I know could do the survival stuff. Like if you said to me, oh, you're going on there with JJ and I don't know, Ethan. Ain't no way. Ain't no way. But if you go, if I'm going on there with someone that I'm like, okay, who can, who do I think could build a shelter? Then yeah, a hundred grand, seven days, probably not. It depends what it is. If it's just to do it for a hundred grand, probably not. But if it's like, oh, a um, hundred grand, but you're going on Mr. Beast video, of course. We set these up like a TP. We picked the worst day to start. As you can tell by the clouds, it's literally about the storm. Ah! So, first thing we want to do is set up some structure to cover us. Also, since we're on the slab of wood for the next seven days, we need a place to hide from the sun so we don't get sunburned. So, two birds, one stone. Speaking two of birds, birds, while we were one building, stone. this happened. Bro, the bird! It's coming Yo. right at us! Oh my god. Yo! Oh my god, it's a bird! What the hell? <laughs> Hey, that's wham! This is crazy. We should name him. What's his name? Brian. Brian! Brian! Brian. What if you went and caught some fish? I don't know. He's looking at me. He understands. What the hell? Maybe just say the word. Put the knife away. Okay, I'll put the knife away. <laughs> and the hatchet. The Brian, that was a joke. Forget the bird! We gotta build We're a shelter! Friends. And while Brian watched, we worked on our first shelter for the rest of the day. Except Bruh. for my friend Tariq, who spent the entire day getting cool drone shots. And I'm that's not, not a bird, it's a dinosaur. Inside this crate is the food for all five of us for the next seven days. All right. Oh, oh my gosh. Woo. And in these two barrels well, is our be entire feastables. water supply for all five of us. How does it taste? That's the, that is the water supply, right? When he pours it, he so spills. our entire water supply for all five of us. He spilled some. Very hot. <laughs> oh, no. sure. There was dirt in my cup. It's getting dark, and that crate has the word sleep on it. Hopefully, the survival guides gave us something soft. Why are they wet? Things do get wet on a boat. Yeah. I'm ready for bed. I want to go to sleep. All right, this is night one, and Brian is just... Yeah, no, 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 no. I ain't sleeping. I ain't sleeping with Brian looking at me like that. He could swallow me full. That is... Nah, I wouldn't be it. No, 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 no. I've got to get A off the boat. No way, no way. Yeah, I could not. There is no way. There's no way. What did Brian do? Bruh. <laughs> this is miserable. This is all the coverage we have. I didn't realize what I was signing up for. It's hot. This thing will not stop swaying, and I feel like I'm going to puke. And I'm surrounded by a bunch of sweaty people. <laughs> hey, sweaty men. If you guys smell this bad on day one, what are you going to smell like on day seven? Oh, gosh. Our first night of sleep was really rough. Sleeping is impossible. Yeah, that would be These waves are just horrible. And to make matters worse, our best friend Brian ended up leaving us that morning. Brian! No! Brian! Good. Brian! But regardless, today's objective is to build ourselves a permanent weatherproof shelter. Surrounded by fish. Yeah, but they're not on my raft. That, it's called livable structure. There's definitely something here. Luckily, I had them throw a bunch of wood on the raft so we could build a nice house. How we build the house, I'm not quite sure. But they said this is enough to build a house. 
But ironically, right as we got started. Oh, no, it's raining! Oh. Jimmy, get my shark pillow! This is this is stressing me out. This is really stressing me out that he's throwing this stuff. Jesus Christ, you're not doing the right thing, Nolan. Listen with your ears. Why do you yell so much? Because you don't oh, want to hit This Nolan. is stressing me it's out that they're throwing stuff at least we don't have to shower. Yeah. This is so bad. And we still have over six <laughs> days left. Yeah. Oh, we have to build the pooper. What? We have to build everything that's here. We have to build the toilet, build our shelter, the fire. Fuck the that. moment the rain finished, the I need to build I need to poo. Not right now. I'm just saying, I need to poo. And they don't even have a bucket? Nah. All of our survival Never, 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 never. Starting with the shelter. We're tearing this down in the name of something better. I don't need to poo now, I'm talking there. Five minute break for Chris. I also need a break. I'm seasick, I, I'm, I'm out of it. I'm... You gotta have to pick this up. I can't, I can't pick it up anymore. I feel like you're doing all the work, <laughs> but we got two other goofs just laying down. I'm miserable. We built one wall! Yeah, we built one wall. All together. <laughs> all of us. Regardless of being seasick, it was gonna take all of us if we wanted to finish this. Now you guys bring it forward. Yeah, there, there we go. go. Nice. How many YouTubers does it Did take to build a look? little structure? What? Did we Is that freak a out? while? I think that's a wild. That's insane. A wild? Oh my god. That is unreal. No, this shot's this mad, This experience though. just keeps getting better. Shelter, water, not being near Nolan. I'm never going to take that for granted again. Probably would have been really useful to build the ladder first. We got a ladder now. I literally just built this four This is quite, I, this is actually After quite impressive. After hours of building, we were finally getting somewhere. I severely regret making this a seven day challenge instead of a 50 hour challenge like all our other videos. We keep rocking back and forth. It's freaking miserable. I'm gonna puke. And finally, just as the oh, sun was going down, camp is now organized. Yay! Yay! Night two. That looks, quite, that looks quite nice. I'm gonna get some sleep tonight because I'm that tired. I'm gonna head to bed. Oh, did I wake you up? Uh, just go back to bed. I'm just walking. Actually, I will laser up. I feel bad now. This might be the most tired I've ever been in my entire life. I'd love to do- Really? It's now day three, and somehow our building didn't fall over. I'll take that as a dub. The noises that this structure made while I was sleeping last night filled me with nightmares. It's day three, and we've really started to get into a rhythm. Our like, morning routine consisted of peeing in When the it's calm, when it's calm, it looks all right. I, I would like, I wouldn't mind it at those bits, but then it's the stuff like the nights. I think it would be cool for a little bit. And then oh, there's just, there's just so much I would hate of this. I'm not going to sit here and pretend like I would happily do this. Yeah. Bro, who vlogs in the peak corner? I'm not moving. Eating our breakfast. Surviving on festivals. What's all you need? And drinking hot Is it illegal? Water. Well, so I assume hydrated. not. I might have been a dumb question. Can they just pee in the day. sea? Can they just, like, can they just stand on the edge of the raft and just pee? Yes, of course. I didn't know if it's like one of those things like people do pee in the sea, but you shouldn't. What else are they going to do? Well, they said they had to build a toilet. Motion sickness for seven days. Yeah, that is true. You shouldn't do it, but I don't think it's illegal. Okay, okay, okay. Get you. Okay. In, and we're almost halfway through a barrel of water. Is that slow or fast? One barrel. We're going to run out on day six. Running low on water and food gave me an idea. I'm kind of curious to see what's under the boat. Dude, there's so many fish below us. So we decided to try to catch some dinner, but we weren't very good at it. Why does this take so long? Not I just want something to put in my stomach. Brian! Brian, help us catch fish! Brian! Imagine he actually did. Imagine Brian Turns came down and caught a fish and gave it to them. YouTube. After hours, we caught absolutely nothing. Why can't we catch anything? Oh, I give up. We were tired, dehydrated, and hungry, which forced us to dig into our rations. Let's have ourselves a feast. Yeah! I mean, that looks quite... Oh, a a bull. Uh, uh, in our supplies, we had wood to build a fire. It looked like quite cook. a lot of food. You take big stick and make really little sticks. And then make medium sticks, then use the big sticks at the end. Oh, for a fire. Okay, I was like, this is for. Look at me. Jeez, baby. okay. I'm so excited. This looks awesome. Right, a fire really Can you tell we've on been at sea for a wooden days? raft. <laughs> Just doesn't seem. Something seems a bit weird there, right? 
Fire on a wooden rail. I've never been no. this excited over canned chili. Hey, I put some love in chili. Into looks this. All right, it's not know. just canned chili anymore. It's got tomatoes, kidney beans. You don't have to keep talking. I'm already drooling. This was our first hot meal in days, <laughs> but it was also oh a good chunk of our rations, so we made sure to enjoy it. I'm feeling a lot better. I think the first two days were definitely the most miserable. I think we're slowly like losing our minds, and it's actually becoming bearable. I still haven't gone to the bathroom. That's my biggest concern now. Yeah. Bruh, if he holds it in for seven days. I'm struggling to sleep. This raft is just rocking like crazy. Not gonna lie, I'm kind of miserable. Hopefully tomorrow's better. I don't think None I could, yeah. To get any sleep. We lost the back of our fort last night. The house needs some repairs. Tensions are pretty high on the raft this morning. Nolan's a little upset. Everyone has just been in a bad oh mood, my God. isn't they? Nolan is struggling. He's just in his feels right now. Don't do it. You probably would have quit the channel if I did that. This is easily the worst. Oh, there's thunder. I swear if it starts raining again. Oh, I can't take that. And to make matters worse, we accidentally dropped our ladle in the drinking water. And since we haven't showered in four days, uh, it technically contaminated the drinking water. I'm never drinking out of that again. Uh, oh, we run out of water. Because of the contamination, a third of our water was no longer safe to drink. For whatever reason, the more- I ain't gonna lie, I'm still drinking it. I'm still drinking it. I, I drink the other water first. I'm drinking that if it comes to The more I suffer, it. the more you guys watch. Some of our most popular videos are when I buried myself alive, spend time in solitary confinement. So I hope you're happy. I'm suffering again. It's not easy surviving. Why would you not just use your cup and just dip your cup in? Why wouldn't that work? And then when it's really low, then get the ladle out and use it for the other one. Because saliva? Yeah, but saliva or... I mean, that's that's now contaminated and they haven't... They can't use any of it. But after four long days... Lasers finally pooping. Do you play a celebratory song? Laser beam is it's pooping. Yeah. See how all those clouds oh, over God. there are dark? Yeah. Yeah, they're gonna pour down on us tonight. Tonight's gonna suck. We didn't know it yet, but the biggest storm of the entire challenge was heading right towards oh, us. Oh, God. We saw it approaching. We tried to prepare as much as possible. Can't wait for another storm just to destroy all this again. Tariq is fixing his side of the fort, and Chris is fixing the roof. And I'm now the cameraman for some reason. There's a storm of ruin! <laughs> and while they're preparing the shelter for the storm, yeah, I'm going like to Shopify because it might literally storm until the end of the challenge. This is going to be a bit rocky. Shopify is a platform that makes it easy for anyone to start a business. They literally surely there is someone small right. businesses all around the world. There's got to be someone to nearby. Because if they fall in and can't get up, surely there's a boat so nearby. you're going to have absolutely zero tubs covering this structure. I am worried about it. 100% of what I sell online, from merch to feastables, I do with Shopify. It's actually getting pretty rocky out here. My Bro, the wind is getting crazy. We're out of nails. It's really hard to work around the wind, guys. Ah! Stop yelling and do things. Shopify even has a new AI tool called Sidekick, making running your entire business easier. Just like surviving on this rap can be hard, so can entrepreneurship. And that's why they do everything in their power to make it as easy as possible. This for is you. really stressful. This really is really miserable. stressful. Go to Shopify.com slash Mr. Beast to give it a try right now. Thank you, Shopify. Let's go prep for the storm. I'm soaking wet. Maybe you can start helping us, Jimmy. I, I was paid for the rap. <laughs> <laughs> The storm was really starting to pick up, but that night it got so much worse. This really puts the helter in shelter, eh? Ah! Oh, no. Yeah, Damn. it's done for them. Are you kidding me? It's leaking. Oh, no. I'd this be having a terrible time. Okay, you know what? I changed my mind about this. Me saying that I would, like, hate to do this, I'd hate to do it if it rained. I think I could, I think I could like, struggle through it in sunny days. But raining days, it, it just looks miserable. <laughs> This is brutal. What do we do? We have three more nights in this. Next three days, by the way. There's water everywhere. It's useless. This does nothing. This is the most insane night yet. We are struggling right now. Is this safe anymore? We would have just filmed this in a studio. But no, we have to be the real channel that doesn't fake things. Oh, we're going to die. We're getting just destroyed. Oh, you just suck it up if you have no choice. Like them. I mean, yeah. Up, if I'm on there, it's, do it's done. Do it. You can end this video, Jimmy. You Jimmy, can... please. I tried to talk all you guys out of it. Look you all it. said yes. This is the worst experience I've ever had in my entire life. I hate every part oh, of this. Bro, I'm just miserable right now. Ah!
Yeah, this looks The storm was reaching horrible. a new peak with every passing hour. We were desperate, so we tried using our beds as literal walls to protect us from the rain. We're all at rock bottom now. It's been raining for a few this hours. Is, I, it's I'm, freezing yeah. cold. We don't have beds. I'm getting nauseous. I don't know if we're gonna make it this full seven this days. This looks so shit. It rained nonstop for around 20 hours straight. And after standing the whole night, completely soaked and exhausted, we had to push ourselves to dry off our supplies and rebuild camp. Our raft is just in shambles. Look at our beds. We're drying them off. This is harder than Antarctica. It's this making me up, desert sir. video. I'm just ready to be home. And I hate this raft. I never want to see it again. Our entire fire pit is completely drenched. We couldn't start a fire if we wanted to tonight. No dinner. And to make matters worse, all of our food was completely soaked, meaning only a portion of it was still safe to eat. We had stability. We had food. We had dry beds. And we took it for granted. We cannot take another night like that. We need to waterproof the shelter. We just rip that off. Tied it here, and then we'll leave the airflow to the side. Yeah, this is I mean, last time we were shivering cold and went to die. So, would you rather be warm and dry or cold and wet? Put a zip tie here. What kind of question is that? Tie a rope to that. Zip tie there. We can use that to push this up so we get even more room. I'm thinking, why don't I make a really big clothesline and hang up all our wet stuff? Maybe we'll have dry towels by tomorrow. I want to die. Oh, wait, it'll rain again, and it's even worse. Dehydrated and uh, so tired. After fixing camp, we were so exhausted that we spent most of the day sleeping. But at least when we woke up, we were reunited with a familiar friend. Brian. 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 Why is food not safe to eat? Because I think the 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 crate that it was in, some of the food wasn't like fully well packaged, so it all got flooded, so that all the all the food got ruined. But the ones that were the ones that were packaged correct, like properly, are still safe. After being stuck on a raft for five days with these guys, this really is a nightmare. I'll admit it, I miss Brian. Brian moved on. You may not have given up on Brian, but Brian gave up on you. Brian's given up on us. We have two days left. We're running out of food. Our water's contaminated. And we're all borderline dying. Ooh. I'm going crazy. These last two days will be interesting. Uh, Whoa, like what could go wrong I feel now? like this, like, this, if you put an extra camera on here, this could have been like a, uh, like a documentary. I really see 500 fish down there. That is crazy. Oh my gosh, this poop bucket stinks. I almost had a mental break last night. I was shivering. Wet the entire time, could not sleep. It was one of the worst nights of my life. Last night, shivering in the torrential rain in the middle of the deep, dark ocean. You know, we got through it. Now the end of this challenge should not come soon enough. Making the challenge seven days was uh, a horrible decision. This is so much harder. Yeah, seven days. The new reinforced waterproof fortress actually worked. Lennon said it rained last night, did it? Cheap, the expensive rafts across the English Channel. Good vid idea. I actually really want to do some sort of raft challenge in terms of like split into two teams and you have to build a raft, we have to build a raft and then we race across like a, a channel and you have to like survive there one night or something. I don't, not the channel, but you know what I mean. Yeah, 4 a.m. sprinkled a little hey, bit. Hey, here's the beauty. I didn't even know. That was the best sleep I've ever gotten. I actually got a full night's sleep last night. I can barely even open my eyeballs. I would say this is the hardest challenge we've ever done. Adding the extra five days on the end of a 50 hour challenge definitely makes it harder. The fact that we're just drifting sure. at sea on this hunk of wood, that's pretty impressive. And while it seemed like the rain was over, we found ourselves encountering a new obstacle. We've gone from shivering cold like two nights ago to it being scorching hot, unbelievably hot. I'm about to jump in the water because I'm getting too hot. We're gonna go swimming. I hope Nolan can swim. And while they cooled off in their own They way, actually went in. Oh, yes, fast. Oh, yeah, Oh there! I feel amazing. Yeah. A jellyfish hit me! No, no, no. Ow! Oh, it is the ocean hate us! I knew it was a great idea not to go swimming. Oh! oh. Okay? oh, my oh. I found the sweet spot. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Oh, no. Yeah, I got a little welts and some red lines. Oh, For the majority ah. of the day, it was so hot. We literally couldn't walk on the deck. Yeah, I'm and hot. Hot. I don't want to be alive. Yeah, I'm hot. It's very but hot. But as the sun went down, we were optimistic about reaching the finish line. We have less than 24 hours left in the challenge. This has genuinely been the hardest challenge video I've ever been a part of. Honestly, this whole experience has made me appreciate all the things we take for granted in life, like your shower, your food. I feel I like that happens every food. single time. Like every time someone does any of these challenges, like I really miss 
like you know a warm shower you have it for the first three days and then you lit you go straight back into eh, it's just a shower a working toilet i never want to poo in a bucket toilet. again i say we celebrate making it this far with the feasible bar yes available in every walmart target 7-eleven albertsons in america from 2023 Damn. if you're still buying hershey's it's kind of lame hershey's for the boomers Oh, Jimmy, why is my chair what is just broke? Happening? Jimmy, I'm starting to think you ate all the food. Yeah, I guess I'll just continue the time lapse with the broken chair, I guess. This is our final night sleeping together. Hershey's everybody. Lakey Bella. Hershey's ass, bro. I'm glad to sleep alone. I'm going to miss sleeping by your side. 100%. This isn't even me sleep next talking to about Mr. Beast, just man. Hershey's is ass. <laughs> and with that, I'm going to bed. <laughs> Day seven. After an amazing night's sleep, we were visited by a familiar face. Brian brought his family. Jay to say Brian. On the last day. Brian. Thank you, Brian. That meant a lot. It's almost like we were family to Brian. We were. He kept us safe during our like the night we had the least shelter. Maybe he's just a pea brain bird. Shut, Shut up. up, Nolan. Off the rack. I wish. That was emotional. Everything's gone full circle. We had so many crazy memories of this raft. Yep, and I think my best memory is gonna be leaving. <laughs> Same. We spent over 150 hours on this floating piece of wood. And even though it was easily the hardest thing I've ever done, the boys and I still had some good times. Where's this boat? Where's the boat? It's in the boat! Then finally, the end was literally Jeez. inside. Yes! It's coming! Alert the ship of our location. Signaling the boat! Legons look really fun. Oh, that might just be me. Why is it moving so abnormally slow? Oh, oh, oh my god! I'm getting off this round. The first 10,000 people to go to the shop app will get a free box of Feastables. Click the link in the description to download the shop app right now. I, I feel like it was an 18 minute video, right? But I feel like it didn't feel like... I, I know that it was obvious they were suffering. But it didn't feel like they were suffering through it because it was so fast paced. It was kind of like, okay, they're, they're suffering. Okay. Oh, now it's okay. All right. Now it's hot. All right. Now it's cold. Even though it was 18 minutes, it felt really short. Seven days worth of stuff. Yeah. I mean, it was a good video and it's, it's a ridiculously mad challenge. So fair play. Fair play.